Deer were introduced into Fiordland over a hundred years ago as a recreational opportunity for hunters. However, by the 1930s, deer had run rampant, demolishing huge areas of native bush. Deer control through venison recovery is a crucial way of looking after Fiordland's pristine environment. Let's find out more. of a problem are deer in Fjordland National Park? They had a pretty big impact over a very short period of time. They're targeting the really sensitive alpine herbs um, that hold good value for the deer and they're also moving back onto the alpine tops. So to see uh, the deer reduced in these areas particularly is, is very important. They're not a problem provided they're managed and that's where the, the, the venison recovery operators play a big part. Um, they have been taking out around about 5,000 deer from Fiordland National Park every year for the last uh, few decades. So they play a critical role in conservation management in Fiordland right across the 1.3 million hectares. I'm part of a two-man team that early in the morning and late in the evening we sort of hunt the alpine sections and uh, shoot and recover deer for export. Started as a, as a teenager, as a shooter, and, and as I was old enough to become a pilot, I, I've flown ever since. We average about 10 per run, which is like two to three hour hunt. We had a four year spell, and it, it was just incredible, the change we saw. It was, we went from getting two deer an hour to up to seven to 10 deer an hour. Do you notice a difference in the vegetation after the deer have been removed? Overnight. We, when we came back after that four year um, rest, the, the deer trails were opened up and the browse was just quite incredible in the damage, but just a matter of a few years you can see the regeneration already. Quite incredible change. So it's a good business for you, do you think you'll continue? Well it's something I've always done and I enjoy and fueled is part of my life and it's just the way it is really and hunting all goes hand in hand, so yeah. We set up some alpine vegetation monitoring in 2005 and we've been re-measuring that over the last couple of summers. And right across Fiordland National Park, the reduction in deer browse, particularly in these sort of areas here, has been staggering. And the key thing from our perspective is that without these helicopter operators, we couldn't stand by and not do anything. And the cost of replacing that industry for the Department of Conservation in Fiordland National Park alone would be somewhere between $500,000 and a million dollars per annum. So that's why we see these venison recovery operators as being a key partner in conservation management right across Fiordland National Park. Our forests evolved without any native grazing mammals and deer have been a problem since they arrived for our natural heritage. It took only 30 years for them to be declared a menace, so the more work that the venison recovery guys do, the better it is for Fjordland's environment.